Quds is now officially saying it recognises the Libyan Rebel Council, the transitional Rebel Council in Libya, as the sole legitimate representative of the Libyan people, it says. That's according to the state news agency in UAE. This recognition affirms that the UAE is committed to maintaining strong ties with the Libyan people, said its foreign secretary. Based on this, uh, UAE is now dealing with the Rebel Transitional National Council and will take the form of a government-to-government -government relationship in all issues related to Libya. Well, that confirmation comes as the Libyan government forces and rebel fighters clash today in several key locations across western Libya with opposition fighters launching an offensive on the port of Zawiya to the rest of the capital Tripoli months after they were forced out by regime troops. Well, battles have also been fought in all those locations you can see there on the maps in Tan, Yafran and Daphnia, just outside the rebel-held city of Misrata. Well, our security editor, Sam Kiley, is in Tripoli. He's reporting under the supervision of the Libyan authorities. It's been a very mixed day for Libya. The government forces have launched a continuum. Start again. It's been a very mixed day for Libya. The government forces have counterattacked in Daphnia against uh, the rebel forces trying to advance towards Tripoli, uh, down that coast road west from Misrata. Uh, the rebels there reporting relatively high levels of casualties, at least six killed and many more injured in that counterattack from the government, which has been going on now for about 36 hours. Government forces ignoring the threat from NATO airstrikes. At the same time, in the Nafusa Mountains, the town of Zintan has again been attacked uh, by Gaddafi's forces. This again is a counterattack because the rebels had been able to get out of that mountain area and down onto the low ground, only 60 kilometers, 35 miles from Tripoli. Seven killed, 49 wounded there. Meanwhile, in Zintan, down the western road towards Tunisia, a very, very important lifeline uh, for Tripoli, from the government perspective, rebels have risen up there. Also, they have suffered some heavy casualties. We've got reports of about a dozen killed and many more injured. Now, that, that flare-up of the rebellion there, which is a return to a rebellion that was snuffed out in March, is very significant because if that can take hold, then their rebels have essentially got a three-pronged attack that they can begin to consolidate for their push on Tripoli. And they will be looking to the skies and making even more of their demands for more NATO airstrikes to try and give that some energy. Sam